Hi, good morning, everybody. This is Shamal here. So, last 48 hours, I was just concentrating my mind and my heart and soul, my energy, everything in a very close room. I was trying to analyze with my whatever small history knowledge I had till at the age of 15, then I left history then since in corona time i told that i got little time to exercise my wisdom and knowledge and understanding to read in between lines so i have covered close to seven lectures in understanding world history as well as history of science and indian history too so i have covered already series of lectures that is sixth lecture I have covered covering the whole range my idea of concentrating history from 1885 the establishment of Indian National Congress to 2020 it's a basically I have taken a journey from Mahatma Gandhi or Mahatma Gandhi ji to Modi ji. So, this is close to a journey of 135 years or 36 years history I have taken into consideration. So, to cover that, I have taken my six lectures on history and I have split it into 30-30 minutes video I have tried to upload in YouTube and Facebook so those talks are mostly covering what are the areas I am covering again I am repeating those cover to summarize because this is my last presentation on Modi ji so, so those things I have covered about the history Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Subhash Chandra Bose, Rabindranath Tagore and Dr. B. R. Ahmedkar, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, what is their role? And I've tried to, Jawaharlal Nehru also, I've tried to cover their role and wisdom, how they have played in Indian freedom movement. This is one part. It's basically a critical analysis. Not only analyzing the history, I am very critical about my understanding about the history. I have tried to portray that. This is one part I have covered. The another part is like, you no, know, the debate on nationalism, how the nationalism or internationalism or globalism, the idea and wisdom, that is what it is, what is nationalism all about. Taking all those figures, what kind of nationalists they are and what kind of wisdom they hold, because I personally feel that to become a political leader or a great philosopher or an artist for the matter a scientist every individual holds some philosophy in that angle i have analyzed everybody i have tried to place each one and also the hinduism and special reference to hinduism the mayabad how it has played an important role in, in the political domain to give certain preference to somebody so that is also I have explained. So this is my understanding purely based on I am wholly fully responsible for whatever I am speaking. Uh, number third point I have also taken the communism and how this communism concept is been adulterated in from 18th, 19th century. 19th century how all those concepts has been taken how Russia Europe all those great dictator that is created through communism route so those path I have told how Stalin or North Korea for that matter in present China I talked about all those things and those area has been covered nationalism to how wealth has been created and also communicated to Nobel Foundation that their idea they are totally against of nationalism 
how Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru also approached for Nobel Prize and how many times they have approached. That part I have tried to cover in my presentation, keeping Nobel Foundation and their objective in mind. So this is another part and I have finally proposed my own economic theory, keeping Charles Darwin and food chain in mind since I am a biologist. Now friends, this is almost a summary I am giving if anybody is interested probably my total six presentation of each presentation close to 30, 35 minutes or 40 minutes one can go through it. <coughs> now I am coming back my end of the lecture Mr. Modi ji, present Prime Minister of India Mr. Narendra Modi. Here people are talking and talking about that whether Mr. Modi is to be compared with Rabindranath Tagore and, and also with Mahatma Gandhi. So a lot of Congressy followers, they are totally against that Narendra Modi cannot be compared with Mahatma Gandhi or no Rabindranath. So in Bengal, people are portraying Narendra Modi as he has grown some beard and they are taken in a very different way and a very sarcastic way they are comparing that Narendra Modi ji is, is trying to portray himself as a as like Rabindranath because Rabindranath is a very great figure, international figure. So that is what it is happening. <coughs> so, so much intellectualism is going on in and around. So I I have certain thing to say over. I am not a party worker, not I am a whatever ideology Narendra Modi is following. I am not. I am. I am speaking on, on a behalf of a from a neutral zone as a rationalist. I am analyzing all those things because since I have analyzed hundred and thirty five years history, I have little understanding about the whole thing. I know. Indian history little bit and that capacity I am speaking, I am speaking with my wisdom and knowledge. I am very clear what I am speaking and I am ready to give each and all answer pertaining to my speech if anybody is having any issues in that line. So as I told you I am not a follower. I, I follow him as a different purpose. First of all, he is Prime Minister of India. I have every right to respect him, his wisdom, whatever he is doing. I could see him. He is a great speaker and he has the clarity of thoughts about the whole India and also humanity in that ground. I see him a, a nice man, a non-corrupt man. I have analyzed all the Prime Minister of India at my back. I have probably explained one can go and review my all presentation. So in that context, I am very clear about <coughs> sorry the vision of Narendra Modi, what he is trying to project here. I can only say this much. I can only speak 30 minutes. That's why I am trying to restrict myself within 30 minutes. I am trying to finish the entire thing. So Narendra Modi should not be compared. If anybody is from Narendra Modi's political party or their spokesperson is trying to compare or Congress is also trying to compare, I request them not to compare. So there is a difference between Mr. Narendra Modi, Mahatma Gandhi and Rabindranath Tagore. They are all coming from different time zone. The situation in that particular time was totally different and now the time is different. Only thing probably, I'll rather tell the Congress people probably you made Narendra Modi more strong, stronger because uh, people like certain Congress fellow who talked about that person Narendra Modi won't be able to serve tea. He doesn't deserve to, to serve tea in Congress forum. So friends, so you have brought an individual such a low level and because of many attacks, I am not naming here from Congress, spokesperson, headquarters, sometimes presidents, all those things. 
all those things are in public domain like Motka Saudagar and given very low level of identity to Narendra Modi. I will rather say that only one thing, please. You do not compare Mahatma Gandhi with Narendra Modi ji. The reason behind they are totally different. Only thing Narendra Modi ji has got every right to take whatever little philosophy Mahatma Gandhi is having like his non-violence or this Indianization of certain items like charka and everything that philosophy probably what he has taken. Beyond that, I have nothing to take from him. I have explained in my presentation and Modi ji probably is doing the same thing. So, Mahatma Gandhi is Mahatma Gandhi in his own time. Probably his acts are being analyzed. He has got his due respect for that purpose. Now, Modi ji has come. He is democratically elected Prime Minister of India for the second time. He has got every right to exercise his knowledge and wisdom, taking everybody, every consideration. 1947 or before independence, the situation was different. Now the present situation is different. The population dynamics, global politics, everything is totally changed now. So his role is, is a different kind of role. Friends, I have not told about few things after 1947. Close to 75 years independent India, if I analyzed, out of that 50, 55 years, more than that is ruled by the Congress. And specific family, like Nehru family, Indra, Nehru has ruled from 1947 to 64, like how many years? 13 plus 4, 16, 17 years. Indira Gandhi also close to 15, 16 years, he has ruled. And then Rajiv Gandhi, he also taken over another five years. Then P.V. Narasimha Rao, and again Manuman Singh for another 10 years. So they have the maximum share of 80 years. They have taken a total out of 75 years, 80 80% of the time it is ruled by the Congress. So whatever good, bad or mess it was done by them only. Beyond that, there are small, small things, Janta Dal and all those things. They have ruled an emergency. Rest is ruled by BJP, Dr. Atul Bihari Bajpais and Narendra Modi ji. So, <laughs> this is all about 75 years history. So, BJP is ruling close to three terms, 15 years, 16 years, not beyond that. I'm not putting the exact data, then it, it would be very interesting if I dissect data over here. I have the data with me, only what I'm trying to convey here. Here, whatever 55, 60 years Congress ruled and the one family is ruled and you know whatever things they have got it. They have got everything, the entire India, all establishment, everything it was named from road, building, university, traffic signal. All the establishment was named under Jawaharlal Nehru, Indira Gandhi or Rajiv Gandhi, whatever things, proposal it has come, it is there. So Congress are so proud about their Gandhi, Nehru, family, and everybody understand that there is a sentiment. And they have gone out of the way. They have got Bharat Ratna Award. They have proposed Nobel Prize, Gandhiji five times, Jawaharlal Nehru 12 times. They have sent their nominations. So India has not got anybody beyond Nehru, Gandhi, and family. No intellectual. They have found that they can send somebody or recommend somebody for the Nobel Prize for the peace or for economic for any other fields probably. It is a sad part of history. I feel today that I am being as a history student of up to 15 years I have studied history and that knowledge I am feeling ashamed of analyzing all those things. Now I am reading in between. So it helped me to give in clarity how in 1939 Mahatma Gandhi brought the whole corruption 
in the Indian National Congress to eliminate Subhash Chandra Bose. Even after winning, the dirty tricks, I told a big video, I made it for 30 minutes, it is there part of the thing. Friends, what I want to tell you on that basis, I am convinced today, being as an Indian and little history knowledge up to 15, 10 standard knowledge, so then I have not read any history now, I am a science student, so there is no question of reading history, there are many historians, there are big, big AC rooms, four walls, people are there to write history, I am not going to write history. So, I am an analyst, I am analyzing the history, if I am to, I have to analyze history based on this documentary evidence, I have every right to dissect many things. So, my dissections are very simple. Point number one, the corruption of Congress started from 1939 in Tripuri Congress. Number two, Mahatma Gandhi's emotions spoiled the whole thing that I have told. His emotions, undue emotions or nepotism, whatever you say, that spoiled or ruined the entire purpose of the basic purpose of fighting British and getting unified India. Because of his emotions and Maya, whatever you say it, towards Jawaharlal Nehru, all these Gandhian families, Indra Gandhi for that matter, then Husband of Indra Gandhi, that is Firuz Gandhi, who Gandhiji given is the surname and he is a catalyst for Indra Gandhi and Firuz Gandhi marriage. The surname is again not an, it is borrowed from Mahatma Gandhi. It is not the original surname of Firuz Gandhi, G H N D H Y. So, friends, what I am trying to tell you, there are a lot of emotions so involved here. That's why I told that if anybody is interested, please go back and read my lecture or understand my lecture, what I am trying to call me. Here I am telling the BJP people also not to compare with the Gandhians. They have done for themselves whatever they want to, what best they want to do it. Even 17 times both Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru is sending application for Nobel Prize. They have not found anybody, Ballabhai Patel or those big, big political leaders and Dr. Sama Prashad Mukherjee, all those people are there, Dr. Rajendra Prashad, the great personalities also that time was there. Has anybody has forwarded their nominations for the Nobel Prize? I am yet to understand from or know from whoever is following Congress and Gandhiji, all those people I want to know. Another thing, I strongly recommended that partition of India is because of full emotions. It's in, you are in coalition with British, Lord Mountbatten and all those people like, you know, you are very friendly with their family, all those affairs and everything. So, British are very clever and they have used all those heads and Frankenstein to, they have separated out that India-Pakistan. They are very very good, nice job they have done. I don't blame uh, anybody for that matter. What they have to do, they have done it very calculated way. Same thing in Israel, I told. Again, coming back to Modi ji, I want to say one thing. Modi ji cannot be compared with anybody for that matter. He is the first individual. I feel he holds some dignity and honesty in life. He is a non-corrupt person. And his speech, and the first person who invited all the SARC members in order to, when he was Prime Minister, he was the first term inviting Southeast Asia and regional cooperation all the countries in his ceremony. It was a good gesture. Now, if you see in Southeast Asia, there is calm and quiet situation. So, this is one thing. In earlier days, we used to hear a lot of things, a lot of political fight is going on. Absolutely fine. Mr. Narendra Modi and his government has done absolutely fantastic job for many, many things that they have done. First of all, I say demonetization, that is the corruption that is taken place and throwing out 500 rupees, 1000 rupees note is close to 240 
billion US dollar demonetization. It's a great work they have done it. Because it is important to clean up system, clean up system not in terms of money or in terms of in the in constitution he has removed article 370. That is one. The big tumor probably he has removed is operated which was holding for last 75 years. Now Jambu Kashmir and all those things are part of India. So this is one positive thing. Even though there are many debates, I am not getting into those debates probably, there will be no end to it. Apart from this thing, you have the GST. So those things, GST helped us to do many other things. Simplification of whole lot of things it has done and it has got good socio-economic development implication that is there on part. So one India, one GST. That is a fantastic thing what I feel. <coughs> he's opening up, sorry, he's opening up 240 million bank account is one of the greatest thing that probably he has done. So opening up the bank account for the poor, giving some subsidies, giving some incentive, that is a fantastic thing he was, what he has done. And he has got new electricity or thermal plant also coming to the picture new plan, new power generation, developing new village, then is such a Bharat and all those things, they, all those initiatives, new construction of new road as per the standard, every day close to 25 <coughs> new roads construction is one of the agenda probably he has taken in a very drastic way. So he failed probably if India has to develop, it has to develop from the totality for a railway, thermal power, nuclear power and solar power, all those things probably he is covering the solar energy also, a sustainable development and getting power, he is giving a lot of emphasis in that time. He is, he is demolished, he is brought Niti Uddo, Demolish planning commission, those things are a very great uh, thing probably I feel that Niti Uddog, MSME, they are coming to the picture helping in entrepreneurship. So that is a positive thing probably I can see with Modi, he has taken very long term vision, airport, new new airport, planning and all those things. It is it's a great idea if, if you able to develop or uh, India, it has to be taken in a holistic way. What is happening now, nowadays all the city is uh, uh, congested now. If you, has, if, you have to, if you have to have a kind of a distribution so that village also has to develop, agriculture has to be developed, is giving a lot of importance towards those activities. So it is a good initiative developing village with roads, infrastructure, new house development scheme and all those things. He is taking care of free gas, subsidies and all those things and vaccination also currently I have been seeing those things. His acts like triple talak, 70 years we could not do anything, he has abolished that part. So everybody understand Modiji has not got any fear that if he has got certain fear he could not have removed article 370. He has done it because he failed that is the need of the hour, that is the real leaders. It is not we do politics for something, politics for what? If it is not the betterment of the human or humanity, whoever is there, then what is the point? Triple Talak is a bad thing. He probably might have given a lot of thought that if he removes this clause, probably Muslim community will be angry. He understand that part, that sense was he has got. I told he has a very clever and clear thoughts. He knows what he is doing. It could have been bounced back also. He could have lost the election. So he is not worried about what is going to happen. He is worried about the country, country's vision. That is the main thing or man agenda. If I personally feel Modi has to be, Mr. Modi has to be compared. He should be compared with few good qualities of Sardar Ballabhai Patel, Shubhas Chandra Bose. I personally feel he is a true nationalist and also having the global view. As I told you in my nationalism debate that 
how I place, I rate Narendra Modi, I only say, if the nationalism is a basic foundation, your identity, your internationalism and vision, your idea of the world, because he is also a global leader. He is trying to position himself such a way to become a global leader. That is what is more important. You have to place or to position yourself through your speech. One can go through Narendra Modi's speech in any forum, political forum or international forum. He is very clear about all those things. He has got clarity of thoughts like other international leaders. I could see him and being as a third person, I usually like the people having clarity of thoughts. I do not personally believe if you do not have the clarity of thoughts, you won't be able to execute what you think. Your vision is important and this message has to be conveyed to the people of India or globally. So He is doing a lot of activities in terms of Corona sending vaccine, their message. It's basically a peace message, peace and love that whatever contribution we can do, we are doing it. He is not telling nobody, no, I cannot send you. This is a part of humanitarian ground and what he is trying to do in India also in vaccination lot of initiative, lot of correspondence. It's, one has to understand one thing. India is having population of 140-45 crores. It is total like you know, if you America, Europe, Israel, Russia, if you total it, the population is equivalent to the, all those countries what I have told you. It is very difficult to handle India like India having so many problems and you have so much backlog done by the previous government, it made a junkyard and the junk to be cleared in corruption, many other fields. So how many things I want to tell you, I, I, I only can say that I have only three minutes left. In totality, I want to finish it. Modi ji has taken a vision that he wants to clean up certain thing I wish he, he moves in that direction. So giving much more importance to our agriculture, industrialization, I have my vision, I made my vision document to, I have sent it to Prime Minister office, it's a six hour vision document covering how I see India of 100 years, India, what are the things required, if anybody wants to refer, probably one can go through my mind lab and see my vision India document, document one and document two. Friends, I want to conclude, but how many things I want to tell about Modi ji? There is no end to it. It's like the number of work, the number of initiatives he has taken for last 10 years, the planning he has done, it's like ocean. Whatever I say, it will be very less because people are not aware about the population, the problems in the other country. I have told in many videos, like you know, people are more number of deaths in US than India. Till everybody is criticizing Modi ji and so-called intellectuals are there. I told you who are those intellectuals, those Nobel laureates sitting in US and all they are bombarding Mr. Narendra Modi, criticizing all his CAA, NRC and all those issues. They expect that all those, they, their wisdom is something. CAA, NRC is a part of our constitution. So whatever minority living in other country, they are supposed to come if they wish to come. So my point is different. They are advocating those Rohingyas and all those things they should be coming and given shelter to India. So I don't believe all those things what they are speaking. They are speaking probably with a vested interest. So one can go my visit my lecture probably that would be ideal thing to get more thing in a short time probably it is very it is a long thing to speak. So there are many issues. I wish Narendra Modi is taking his journey from this stage and he should be compared after down the line 10 years. Now one can compare himself 10 years back Modi ji, now Modi ji, another 10 years. So one can have his own life cycle of achievements and with that achievement he can be compared. He cannot be compared with Mahatma Gandhi for that matter, Jawaharlal Nehru, for that matter, Indira Gandhi, let them be there where they are, let them be happy. So nobody is snatching away their credential and all those things. So India is a democracy, everybody has got right to pursue their vision and 
Mr. Modi ji is doing the all sort of things. My only request, few things, Article 164, abolition, and reservation to be abolished. I have given my recent document. Another thing is the uniform civil code and election process automation. Those things are taking care, healthcare, agriculture. If government is able to create a situation through entrepreneurship, the proposal I have given, India's 60-70% problem will be re resolved. So entrepreneurship is going to give jobs so that government need not offer a job. It's a kind of a auto emission like, no. So entrepreneur can give 10 jobs, 1 million will give 10 million jobs, 10 million will job, 100 million jobs that way. So your government giving job that concept will go. The self-sustainability concept, ideal village concept, everything has been given my recent document. I want to finish my topic here. I wish Mr. Narendra Modi's vision. I like being as an Indian. I see him. He's the first Prime Minister of India with clear thoughts, clarity, and wisdom and reason, whatever he's doing, little unbiased way. He's absolutely clear about the whole thing, even though I have never met him. I only see in TV, some media, but I like the approach. And comparing with Gandhiji, no way you can compare with Gandhiji. So Gandhiji has suffered with uh, nationalism and internationalism in this debate, his wisdom. Narendra Modi is very perfect. He is a nationalist first. He also taken his view in the global view, all those things. So two personality from two different fields cannot be compared at all. Thank you very much for listening this thing. It's my seventh presentation. I want to finish my wisdom and knowledge, whatever I had, I have expressed. If I have done anything wrong in saying anything, please excuse me. Or you need not excuse me. Buddha is there at my back because I got wisdom from Buddha to speak. Again, once again, thank you very much. Be safe from Corona. And I also requested Modi ji, look, take care about the more Corona because it's artificially created. And I have given my eighth lecture, it went to up to UN and I have given documentation to my video message to ministry to look into this corona part, what is all about the corona. Once again, thank you very much. I am not extending anything further. Have a nice day and nice time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care.